Hello everyone, how's it going? My name's Adam Repos Vox and welcome to a new tutorial. I've had a lot, a lot of requests for tutorials on how I process my audio. And a big reason that I haven't done it is because audio processing and audio quality is absolutely subjective. A lot of people like how my audio sounds, a lot of people don't. A lot of people, you know, like cheap microphones, people like me don't. And because my audio setup is always changing, in fact, uh, not long after I record this tutorial, I'm actually, I've actually invested in some old 90s radio gear in which I'm going to get hardware encoders and compressors and amplifiers to hook up to my mixer setup to completely process my audio all in hardware for before, you know, and not even have to touch software like this. And so in that, uh, for that, that'll drastically change my setup and I'm going to do a separate video on this. But another reason is because I use a paid software called Audacity, or no, I don't. I use Adobe Audition CC 2015 as part of my Creative Cloud sub subscription. And I know not everybody has this. A lot of people want to use Audacity. So instead, I'm going to show you how to do it in a free program here called Audacity. Now, this is, uh, this is potentially going to get a little complicated as I'm recording my screen here in 4K. I'm recording separate commentary audio for this tutorial here in Adobe Audition, and then I'm going to try recording audio in Audacity for this tutorial, so that'll get interesting. But I'm going to show you how to record audio for a basic video, and then process and clean it up and make it sound a little bit sexy here in Audacity, which is a totally free software that you can download. Link will be in the description below. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid having to throw them away. I'm a huge supporter of finding ways to reuse and adapt technology, and this company falls right in line with that. Their project is focused on creating a modular electronic system that can replace and continue to replace via easy upgrading and swappable parts devices that you use on a daily basis by snapping the parts together quite easily. They're launching with a bundle of three home gadgets, a Wi-Fi speaker, security camera, and water use monitor. They're running an Indiegogo campaign that has just 10 days left at the time of recording, and they're only 84% towards their goal. Let's see if we can't get them the rest of the way there. Link in the description below. So first and foremost is you want to make sure your microphone is plugged in, be it via USB 3.5 millimeter, XLR to an interface, what have you. And then you want to come down here you want to right click your speaker icon in your system tray and go to recording devices. And then you want to come in here and make sure that your microphone is detected and working. If it's just a, an analog microphone with the little 3.5 millimeter connection, it might show up as just microphone here, like right here. I don't have one plugged in. So microphone and real tech or microphone Intel audio, something like that. Then here we have my webcam microphone shows up. My audio interface shows up here. It's not being detected because Adobe Audition is already recording from it with exclusive access. And then here we have the microphone I'm actually going to use for this tutorial, which is a microphone I'm working on reviewing, which is a USB microphone with the Exmos driver. It is the SE Electronics X1. It is a USB condenser microphone with a lot of the features that the Blue Yeti has, but in my opinion, it's a much better microphone. So you're going to want to make sure this is enabled. You can right click and make sure that disable is not checked. And then you want to go to properties and go to levels and make sure those are at 100%. Make sure listen is unchecked. You don't want that going on right now. Make sure no enhancements are enabled or just disable all enhancements right off the bat. And then advanced, make sure this is in the 44,100 to 48,000 range. You can go higher, but it's not going to be as compatible with some of your recording programs. So for safety, make sure it's this. If you have an option for like 22,000 hertz or something like that, you don't want that. It's going to sound like you're talking through a walkie-talkie. Click apply, click OK, and close this window. Now open up Ad or Audacity. I'm going to get these names confused all throughout this tutorial. Jesus. Okay. Now, you can't just start recording yet. You also have to check and make sure your microphone is selected properly here. It's going to load up the default, but we don't want the default for me, and for you, you might not want the default either. Instead, I want Line Xmos USB Audio, which is my microphone. You want to choose whichever one is your microphone. If you want to start monitoring levels, you can click here and click to start monitoring. And then I'm going to talk into this microphone. Hello, hello, hello. And you can see that there. And then for your line out, that's whatever you want to preview your audio through. I'm going to choose my mixer board as that's what I'm going to be hearing it through. And initially starting out, just make sure your levels are set at 100%. And then you can start recording. So I'm going to switch microphones here. 
and start recording into the condenser microphone, and we're going to record a basic script. All right, I'm going to record a basic clip here. Actually, I have a script for a, for a sponsored spot that I'm actually going to read here, and I'm just going to read the start of it. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid having to throw them away. I'm a huge supporter of finding... I'm a huge supporter of finding ways to reuse and adapt technology, and this company falls right in line with that. Alright, so what we have here is a basic recording, and then we also have where I kind of screwed up, and we will pick that up as well. So I'm going to, first and foremost, to get rid of any audio or whatever, you just highlight it like you would te text and delete it, so I don't want that extra bit at the end, and then I don't want all that part where I was explaining stuff at the beginning here. So I'm going to highlight all of that and delete it. I'm also going to get rid of this extra audio track that did not need to be added in there. Alright, so this is our audio waveform of our recording. So I'm going to play it raw here so you can hear it completely unprocessed through the recording. I've not used this mic a whole lot, so I don't entirely know how it's going to sound. And I just totally screwed up the zoom here. So this is our audio, and again, I'm going to play it back raw. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid having to throw them away. I'm a huge supporter of finding ways to reuse and adapt technology, and this company falls right in line with that. Alright, you can see we I screwed up a line here, so what I'm actually gonna do is use the microphone or the the microphone, the zoom in glass and cut out this screw up bit in the little space there. Make sure that sounds fairly natural. Throw them away. I'm a huge supporter of finding ways yep. sounds good. We'll zoom back out here. That is not the direction I want to go. And then what we want to do is select all of our audio. You can click and drag, or I'm just going to hit Control A to select all. Extend my window a little bit here. And I'm going to do a few different things to the audio. I'm going to normalize it, which makes all the levels, all the audio a certain level. Then I'm going to noise remove, and then I'm going to add a couple little effects. So first I'm going to go to normalize, effect, normalize. And we're going to normalize it all to minus 1 dB. And we're going to leave it at that, hit OK and it makes it a little bit louder. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's- And what that does is makes the maximum peak, or the maximum loud point, loud is not a technical audio turn, but makes the maximum little high point here at a certain level. Now for most videos, you actually want your audios to be between minus three dB and minus six dB. But what I typically do is go pretty much negative one or zero with my audio and audio editing so that it's as loud and high quality as I can. And then I mix and balance it better in my actual video. So in my video editing, I can just lower that track's volume to minus three dB to fit it better with music. All right, next we're going to go to effect and noise reduction. Now, for this, you do have to get a noise profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Select this bit of empty space, effect, noise reduction, get noise profile. This takes the empty space noise that doesn't have you talking in it and figures out what kind of background noise is present. Get noise profile. All right, it took the noise profile. Effect, noise reduction. And then you can select, you can tinker with these options or I'm just going to leave them blank. I'm going to, actually, I still have this selected. You don't want this selected when you noise reduce. You want it to Noise reduced from everything, and then you can preview it. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid having to- Doesn't seem to have any of that background noise. I don't have a whole lot of background noise in my audio setup in the first place, but you just kind of want to make sure. And then click OK. And it's going to process its audio waveform and change a little bit. Now we can start adding effects to make it sound a little bit sexier. So we have a few different things we can do. I'm going to add an EQ and then a compressor, and that is going to make it- a little bit louder in like certain areas and then make it sound fairly sexy. So we're going to go to effect and equalization. And then we are going to change some curves here. So what we're going to do for the EQ curves is we're going to make a new preset that you can apply to all of your audio after you've added noise reduction and stuff. And we're going to make it sound a little bit better for YouTube by raising up the bass and the high end a little bit. So starting at the 100 hertz bar here, we're actually going to raise that up to about 6 dB. But then we're going to have it te teeter off to about the 500 hertz range, down back to zero, simply by clicking the line over here, dragging. And then for the about 4,000, 3,400 hertz range is where you want to start bringing it up. So you want to make sure that that is set at zero, just kind of select it there. And then over towards the, so start that about 500 or 4,000. Well, this line above 4,000 and then 
this one over 5,000. You actually want to drag up, again, a little under five, 6 dB. And we're going to do that. We're going to put it a little under 6 dB. That way, the high and the low end is there. And then we can also preview the audio here and see what it sounds like with this. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a preset, and then I'll play both with and without it. So we'll save it, and you can name it whatever you want. We can rename it. We'll call it YouTube EQ. Okay. And click OK. And then you always have that as a preset in here. So I'll go ahead and click Cancel. And then we can play it without the EQ. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's... And then we'll go ahead and apply the equalization. YouTube EQ, apply, and I'll play it with it. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics... Adds a little more emphasis and volume on the high end and the bass, which is really what we want. So if you want to copy these settings, I will post a screenshot of it in the description below um, with a little bit of details, or you can just look on screen here. But this is what I use essentially in Adobe Audition. All right, now we got our audio EQ'd up. Now we want to add a little bit of compressor. Compressor flattens it a little bit, and while it does reduce the dynamics, and some people don't like it, it gives it more of a bit of a, just a little bit of a radio sound, and makes it sound just a little sexy. Um, that was probably a fail at it. I'm still kind of sick. I've said that in a lot of videos now, but I've been sick for a while. I really need to go to the doctor. I just haven't been bothered for it. All right, now that we've got the audio EQ'd up, we're actually going to add a compressor to it. And in a, this isn't my favorite way of adding compression, as you have pretty much no control over it. But just go up to Effect and hit Compressor, and it has its own uh, Audacity has its own compressor preset here. And I'm actually going to add the threshold to be about minus 20 dB. It makes it a little bit more aggressive. And then we will preview it here. And then Expander is below minus 20 dB. We don't really have an Expander here. Yeah, we're just going to have to go with it. Let's preview it, see what it says. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid right. having to throw them. So I'm going to hit cancel. We're going to preview the audio one more time, just as EQ'd. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all... And then we're going to add the compressor. And again, minus 18 to 20. I'm going to put it at minus 19 here. Click OK and then see what it sounds like. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid having to throw them away. It just gives it a bit more of a polished feel in my opinion. You could skip that step or you can go with it. I pretty much always use um, a, a compressor. And, then and that about wraps up this tutorial. There's a little bit more you can do such as hard limiting and things like that, but I often don't really have the best of luck in Adobe, or God, I keep confusing it, in Audacity with this. That's something I reserve for Adobe Audition, and it's something that's not entirely necessary, and again, some people don't even like it, uh, but a little bit of noise reduction, EQ, and compression, and your audio comes out sounding a little sexy. The sponsor for today's video is Nascent Objects, a company that's all about making electronics reusable as to avoid having to throw them away. Now, of course, it does help if your voice sounds great to begin with, and you do have to manage your own uh, background noise. Like, no, my, no method is going to cleanly get rid of tons of background noise without distorting your audio, and no microphone is going to fully do that. Now, the dynamic microphones I've reviewed help with that drastically, but you do have to take steps to minimize your background noise and audio distortions present in your setup. But this is a basic way to enhance and sexify your audio for your YouTube videos, and then simply go to File, File, Export audio. You don't want to go to save. That'll only save a project file. Go to export audio and then save it to wherever. So I'm going to save a copy of this before and after so that you can play it from my SoundCloud page. I make two copies of all of my audio recordings. I have a raw and then I have a proc, which is for processed. And I save that and I click OK. And then I go undo. I, I didn't save it when I started, so I'm just kind of undoing everything here and then file export. And this is raw. That way I have a raw copy in case something in my editing screwed up. And then I have a process copy to sound really good for audio or for editing. Lastly, if you do want to save yourself some time, then you can actually set up some keyboard shortcuts by going to edit preferences and then pulling up the keyboard option, go into the effects menu, and then you can set up your own hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts for 
uh, normalizing, noise reduction, EQ, and then compressor, and then you can just kind of hit them like one after the other, like one, two, three, four, and then just process your audio all at once. Or as you may have seen on my social media, I have a one button audio processing setup in Adobe Audition that just does everything I need to with one press of the button. One button audio processing, boom. And it's going, doing all my stuff. Go, 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 with one button. I do hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, smash the heck out of that like button. This was a long time coming. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech videos and tutorials. And if you want to see more stuff like this, using free tools or using my, like if you want to see this done again in Adobe Audition, leave a comment down below. Please, please, please. If you ever want to leave a comment, now's the time to do so. And subscribe for more awesome videos, and I'll see you in the next one. My name's been Adam Maripos Fox, and again, I wanted to shout out my GoFundMe going on, even if you just have $5 to donate. I do have a GoFundMe going to fund a new camera for the main channel, as mine is dying, it is old, and I need an upgrade anyway, so GoFundMe going there. Thank you so much. See you next time.